my next video coming from none other than one of the original goats. See here, here, here is an example of how real I am with this shit. This man right here, I used to be a supporter of. Ipod King Carter came in. He was one of the originators. And let me explain something about a lot of this stuff, man. When you were a kid watching your favorite influencers, the shakedowns, the cash nasty, the law mobs, the iPod King Carter, the Gentos, the um K Spade, the Prospect, the QJB, the Beast. When you watching them guys and you seeing them and you a kid and you don't know how this business works. And you just thinking that they give you all the information that they can give you. And then you grow up and you find out some of these guys are not who you thought they was. I used to be a big fan of this dude right here. And I realized he was a, he was a businessman all the way in and all the way out. And I respect it. But at the same time, you know, I try to stay away from these type of guys. But um, because I'd be like, damn, man, they really are a business person. And sometimes... Business-minded people are not the best type of people for me. I fuck with business-minded people, but I'd rather them be a little for the people. And I'm not saying that this guy is not for the people, but I just think he a real businessman. You know what I'm saying? So when I see that, it, it told me, like, hey, damn, man. I thought he was with the people, like, for real, for real. Like, you know, so I was a little disappointed when I started to grow up and hear how he discussed certain things with 2K. And I was like, damn, man, I, I really fuck with iPod. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, once again, all my opinions are 2K related. Now, as an individual, um, iPod is a great father. From what we have seen, um, being like a very cool guy to be around. He funny. He talks shit. But like I said, I don't have an opinion on an individual personal life. But when it comes to 2K, uh, I thought he was a stand-up nigga. I don't know if he's a stand-up nigga when it comes to 2K. That's my opinion. You understand what I'm saying? So, but as an individual in their real life, it's a lot, like I said, it's a lot of these niggas I fuck with and I support. I don't, y'all know, me and Poe Boy Sin, I don't fuck with Poe Boy Sin when it comes to 2K. But when it comes to real life, nigga, I stand 10 toes behind Poe po Boy Sin. Because I see what he do. I see what he going through. And he's still fighting. He show y'all young niggas not to give up. Poe Boy Sin is a great representation of the 2K. Yeah, he be doing foo-foo shit on 2K. But when it comes to us, man, man, you can't tell me you don't look at that and say, look at that nigga still fighting. Look at that nigga still going. Annoying, huh? It's another one. He got an illness. Annoying, huh? He still try to go out there and put on a, a good show for his supporters, knowing where he's battling his sickness. Man, I salute shit like that, dog. So it's a lot of niggas anonymous don't fuck with when it come to 2K. But when it come to real life, nah, nigga, you can't talk about Poe Boy Sin to me when it come to real life. Now, if you talking on some 2K shit, fuck that nigga Poe Boy Sin. He a, he, a, he, a, he a nigga that try to sit around them people and they kick them in his ass when it come to 2K. But when it come to real life, nigga, you can't talk to me about no Poe Boy Sin, nigga. I fuck with that nigga on some real life shit. But 2K, fuck that nigga. That's how I see. I don't sugarcoat it. I keep it 100 because I know when I'm speaking on 2K shit, this is, these are my opinions on 2K shit. But we finna get into our part, King Carter, man. One of the legends. One of the niggas that I grew up watching when I was a little one. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't really rock with him no more. But we want, I want to hear what he got to say because I told y'all. I was saying to myself, I asked y'all, I said, I don't really understand this pro play shit. Now, I'll probably King Card is somebody that is in the business of 2K. He knows a little more than us. So he said he finna discuss this pro play shit. I said, God damn, I need to go check that out. So I want to see what he got to say about this pro play stuff because I'm starting to get confused on what it is. And is it a my career feature or is it the new engine for 2K? I'm confused on what pro play technology is actually is. So I'll put King Carter going to explain this to us and let's see what he got to say about this pro play shit. Oh, before we do that, y'all make sure y'all go hit a like button on his video. Show him some love. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to sit here and watch these niggas videos and not give them the credit. You know what I'm saying? Listen, take, listen, all you got to do is hit. 
right now it's it listen the video it said do i want to like this video click nigga that took what how many that nigga that took half a second that was like the speed light of speed the speed of light my nigga all i did was hit a like button and if you really fuck with him you hit that sub button if you like what he's saying you know what i'm saying come on so man y'all show that he created some love dog all right let's get it I'm not sure if you guys know, but there is an ongoing issue in the community with trying to figure out what pro play technology See? Look at this. Everybody is trying to figure out this pro, pro play technology shit. Everybody is trying to figure this out. Like, what the fuck is this? And not, who? None other than a nigga that's just in the company here to explain it to us. And I hope he give us a good un, uh, understanding of what this shit is. He is. Now, I gave my thoughts on what pro play technology could be. Oh, and... so he don't really know himself. Whew. Damn. So nobody really has a hard down fact on what is pro play technology. Damn, this is interesting. And, um, a few it, creators. My bad. I, I know I keep pausing it. He said it's mo capping from actual footage. Am I hitting legend in 2K24? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so Brody in the chat said mo capping. It's mo capping from actual footage. So is that like a my career feature, or is that's a that's not an engine, right? That's not how we gonna be playing 2K, like right? Or is that the way that we're going to see our players when we play 2K? Or is that a My Career feature? That I was speaking with in Vegas about it actually was like, yo, that shit might be the realest. Oh, that shit might be true. And I'll, I'll share that with y'all. But please do not clip this shit and make this into some type of video uh -huh. that everybody blows up and, and say that okay. iPod said it's going to be this. So this is what it's going to be. Uh -huh. Please don't do that. Uh -huh. Disclaimer. Motherfucker, don't do it. <laughs> All right, so boom. He said, motherfucker, don't do it. <laughs> what I think pro play technology actually is going to be. I talked to us. I believe that I think it's going to be clips of in real life shit just meshed into shit that we do. For instance, imagine the Mamba moment being a Kobe fadeaway for a game winner, right? Okay. What okay. if when you're going into that fade animation, which has been scanned and taking it to real and everything life? like that. And it is an older game in which this game has been played before. When you do this move, it just turns into a real life clip. Okay. Okay. No. Is that for our part gameplay or my career gameplay? Is that a is that a video thing for just like a storyline? Or is that for something when we playing in stage? See, that's what I'm confused at. Is this some Game, that's what I'm asking. Is it some gameplay shit or some my career shit? Or is it some, like he said, Kobe mo momentum shit? That's what I'm confused at. Where is this feature utilized at? Where are we utilizing this pro play feature? In the game or my career? Just have to control it while it's in that real life clip. For instance, a green. You have to just control it because it's just it just transitions into a real life clip. I'm not saying that all gameplay will stop. What I'm saying is in certain moments, I think that it will look real on the court like you're really at the game. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't care where this feature is at. I know YouTube is about to be flooded with this new feature. They can use our real footage to add animation in the game to me. That's what it sounds like, too. I, I guarantee you the market YouTube is about to flood the market with this feature. They did not do this for the joint challenge. This is something completely new. You can use for this. Okay, so so let's say so let's say I go play a game. See this is what I'm this is what I'm asking y'all. Is this a feature that is tied to video recordings that we can go to later? Let's just say I play a full game. And then now I can go into a pro play feature mode and turn this on and it play it back to me in a real life format. See, that's what I'm asking. I don't know. I'm lost right here. 
Is this some in-game play shit? This some my career shit? This some my team shit? This some Kobe moment shit? What is this? Where is this at? Where are we using this feature? That's what I want to understand. It's just making animations. From what? My career? Part? Stage? My team? Where is this feature? <laughs> Nigga said all these things we need fixed. So we don't use it. Okay. All right, I don't know. I'm confused this shit. I don't lie. I ain't lie. Let's just see I what else you got to say. I think it only let you move certain movements that are authentic to that clip. Whereas though, you can't just fucking run to the corner. See, he said clip. He said clip. So I'm thinking it's some video software shit. I'm going to go with the notion that this is a feature. This is my understanding right now. Until I, until I hear more. Right now, I'm speculating that it is a feature that is some video software shit. You play the game, and then it, 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 you can go back and watch it in a different view. That's, that's basically what I'm getting. Run to the top, spam for the basketball, and get the ball. I think that you just have to actually play that authentic clip out the entire time and only play, press a certain amount of buttons. What I mean by that is we've all played Spider-Man before. There's certain things that you have to do in a game that you have to press a button and the clip automatically just goes every single time. See, you cannot de he keep referring to clips, which let me know that it's some type of video software. This is not something. It could be a, a moment, too, where the game turns into this moment like you know like you said with wwe 2k Rey mysterio shit and i think that was a great I, that might that could actually be what it is deviate from that that's what i think pro play technology is going to be I think it's if it's chatting. something different then i can't wait to see what it's going to be but from my gaming experience i don't know what 2k could go to from that because we also seen a real of a spider with his hand in mm. some type of fish bowl or something like that and he was talking about like some pro play technology and stuff like that now what i'm what what i'm seeing in that clip is i thought you know what fuck it 2 k might be up in a vr this year maybe the pro play technology is something whereas though when you in vr yeah, maybe you're not running and stuff like that, mm. but maybe you clicking the buttons and maybe it's something with the VR right. hand grip and all right. that, uh, with the, uh, with the paddles and shit that you got to do that incorporates the pro play technology. I also thought about that at bed before before I closed my eyes. It's a whole bunch of shit, but it's... And I agree with him. I, I, I agree with him. It's a whole bunch of things that we can speculate on where pro play is. But... I seen another title about pro play and they saying that pro play could be the next big thing <laughs> based on what I'm hearing. <laughs> what? <laughs> like I said, I, I don't think pro play going to matter to nobody other than people that want to create some type of editing video with that. It's, it, if it's not an end game feature, it's not the new engine of 2k for its movement and visual then how important is it? <laughs> I, I, I'm just being honest. If you ain't making no movie with the shit, what, what's really the use of it? All speculation. Until 2K dropped the news on the shit, we don't know what it is. Now, That's true. I do have some dates. August, motherfucker. That's when 2K said they going to drop it. Don't shoot me. My hands is up. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger, bro. 2K said, yo, August, we're going to drop the pro play technology shit for y'all. So we won't know until August. We either going to know in two weeks. We either going to know in three weeks. <laughs> or fuck around to be a whole month until this shit come out in mid-August. Right. We don't know. So mm. don't beat me up, bro. <laughs> Expecting too much, 2K only does the least. Damn. Yeah. In the online gameplay though. Breezy, no, I don't think it'll be I don't think it'll be online gameplay. 
He answered the question that I was looking for. And, and, I, and I don't think it will be either. I don't think it's no way pro play technology get implemented into a online live game. So that automatic makes me believe that it's some motherfucking video software shit. It's something that for y'all that like, who, who know this guy? It's the guy, it's the guy that be creating movie scene intros. I think his name is Shady 2K. Anybody know this guy? I can't be saying his name wrong, but he be creating like little intros and he been doing it for a long time and they be fucking fire. He be creating like little lead, little clips of, of 2K moments and shit. And like he he got recognized by 2K. He been doing it for a long time. I don't know what the fucking I think the nigga named Shady 2K or some shit. But that's what I'm thinking is some shit like for people that like making little intro clips and shit, they can use this technology and create a dope ass moment and put it on YouTube. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Or some TikTok. I don't think I don't think it'll I don't think it'll be that. that but that's just coming from me, somebody who has played games for as long as I have when right. it come to on right a recreation of real life using the gameplay right online That's gaming what I think. bro like every person has to have all control of their players no matter what game you play in an online setting I don't think 2k would put us inside of some scripted shit where we can only press one or two right. buttons but we right. just have to watch the actions play out on in an online experience, I don't like, think that's he- that sound more like a motherfucking story mode game. Like, bitch, we all out here playing, and you just gonna take control of my motherfucking player and put him in a movie. I don't think that would happen. Even fucking real, I don't think that's even fair to the gamer. Bring I think facts. that this shit will. I agree with him one thousand percent. Probably on that. be offline. Probably be some my career shit. Probably be some Mamba moment shit. Probably be some motherfucking my eras type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like something like right, that. Right. Not no like oh going to my team and then like <laughs> Paul Pierce is gonna have to hit this midi or dunk on somebody or you know what I mean or this fall away shot in order to win the game every single game to incorporate pro play technology. No, I don't think it's gonna be that, bro. I don't right. think it's gonna be an online setting. But right. again. Disclaimer, motherfucker. <laughs> we don't know until they drop the news. Hey, that, hey, that's how you know this nigga been doing this shit for a while. Cause he 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 making sure he cover his ass. That's how you know when a nigga been doing this shit for a while. They're professional at, at at being able to deliver just enough. And even if they saying some shit that is a leak, they still make it seem as if they don't know what the fuck they talking about. So they all speculation. So that that how you know when you're dealing with a professional. Uh, marketer. <laughs> oh, let me see. Uh, I mean, NBA clips. The um, I thought pro play was just gameplay wise being more realistic and taking from actual 2K clips. I mean, NBA clips, Sonic Fighter. That's what I said earlier. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so basically, we got the gist of that. I get a better understanding now. It was basically what I thought it was. We hearing it from a guy that this is. He's saying it, it's his opinion as well. You know, even though we know he locked in with 2K, he's still saying he don't know as well. So everybody is speculating. And most people most people are coming up with the same conclusion. That is some gameplay from 2K that you can take into a video software, and it's called Pro Play. And then you can go anywhere with that. So, all right, man, that's it on that one. Shout out to our pod, King Carter, man. Y'all make sure y'all go hit that like button on his video. If you enjoyed the content, or even if you didn't enjoy the content, we watched it. So hit the like button on his video, man. Show him some love. Truly grateful. Great video. Let's go on to our next one. That low on the